there, Elizabeth from Bloom here, and I wanted to go through really quickly, because it is very quick, the three steps into launching your site and going live. So if you have a brand new site, there are only three things that you need to do to ensure that your site is live. So the first thing you need to do is your subscription. So under settings here, under billing an account, this is where you're going to pick your plan. Click billing, you're going to click upgrade, and it's going to show you all the different plans. I always say start with the personal. Squarespace will prompt you when you need to upgrade. Maybe you added code. Maybe you added, want to add a commerce you know, shop section to it. I always recommend starting here, especially if you're a new business, you're just starting out or you're testing something. I always say start small and grow from there. You can pay annually or pay monthly and then the, the cost will reflect that there. So first step is to start your subscription. Once you do that, you need to either transfer your domain or purchase a domain. So you're back here in your home, click settings, click domains. And then this is where you're either going to get a domain and it'll prompt you here to purchasing one. You'll search it or you will use a domain that you own. I typically prefer GoDaddy because once you purchase it, you put the domain here, it'll automatically connect you to GoDaddy and it'll ask you to log in and then in minutes your domain will be connected. So that is the second step. I always change this here. Uh, this is your built-in domain, but you can change it and it's just a habit of mine to always change it to reflect the company that I'm building a site for or my own. And the third step, third and final step is the is to publish your site. So you can't do anything, even if you have your subscription and your domain, your site will not be live until you publish it. So if you click settings under site availability, right now it's private, you can make it password protected if you only want certain people to access it. Maybe it's in beta or you're working on design and you can give some people access with a password, but you'll wanna click public so that your site can be totally and completely live. Um, there's a bunch of different ways that it'll tell you if you miss a step. Obviously here it says upgrade to publish. Sometimes there'll be a blue button down here, but that is your last step to go live is to click public. And that is it. So subscribe, domain, publish, and you will be good to go.